Let's go over how to make and record a journal entry in QuickBooks Online. You should only create journal entries if you are confident with accounting or following the advice of your accountant. Most transactions don't need a journal entry, but you might need to use them for things like correcting errors or summarizing the depreciation of an asset. To create a journal entry, go to New and select Journal Entry. QuickBooks displays the date and journal number at the top. One of the most common reasons for recording a journal entry is to record depreciation. Let's do an example. In a typical depreciation entry, the first account to enter is the depreciation account. On the first line, select the depreciation account. Then, in the debit column, Enter the amount you're depreciating. This moves money out of the account. Enter a description for why you're entering the journal entry. On the second line, select the account for the asset you're depreciating, in this case, a car. Enter the same amount you're depreciating in the credits column. This moves money into the account. With the depreciation journal entry, you enter the depreciation subaccount of the fixed asset and QuickBooks fills in the credit amount for you automatically, as well as the description. When you're done, select Save and Close. If you don't know the ins and outs of debits and credits, consult your accountant before even entering a journal entry.